armed with cutting edge technology and can be located hundreds of miles from New York City. These are our servers. Adam Afshar is used to making big trades. In 2002, after 12 years at Bear Stearns, he gave up his glamorous Wall Street office for this industrial park in suburban Atlanta to start Hyde Park Global Investments, a high-frequency hedge fund that trades its own money and bears little resemblance to the traditional trading firm. How many people in here have prior Wall Street experience? <laughs> Just you. What? Hyde Park's handful of employees are primarily PhDs with more expertise in physics than finance. Mostly mathematicians and scientists who design algorithms to trade faster than any human can. No trader can look at you know, 200, let alone 2,000 stocks every second and do millions of calculations on those and trade a thousand times per second. I mean, that's just not possible. You won't find much focus on fundamentals here. And that's not the only thing missing. You have no traders? We don't have traders. You have no analysts? We don't have any analysts. You have no portfolio managers? We don't have portfolio managers. And Afshar says none of it matters in the new Wall Street, where technology has leveled the playing field. You can compete with the largest Wall Street firm and beat them if you're smarter. It is a chess game, and at this chess game, the best player will win, not the player with the biggest wallet. And that has to be good for the capitalistic system. It says that a very large number of orders are going through. Jeffrey Wecker is also cashing in on the rise of the machines. He runs New York City-based Lime Brokerage, which provides the infrastructure for many of the largest high-frequency trading firms. On any given day, Lime is responsible for nearly 5% of the total daily trading volume in U.S. equities. And like at Hyde Park in Atlanta, its rank and file are more likely to wear pocket protectors than finely tailored suits. Some people might say, the geeks are taking over Wall Street. Well, I'm a geek, I'm proud of it. Some people say that, uh, that there were geeks on Wall Street for a long time. The supply of computer-savvy workers on Wall Street has never been greater, thanks in part to programs now being offered at top-flight universities. Here in New York, students can earn a master's degree in financial engineering through a program affiliated with NYU. Alan Maiman graduated last year and just landed a job as a quantitative analyst. The future of Wall Street is computer on computer action. Humans come in, they check their stuff daily, and, and it's just uh, uh, computers battling. Now 50 to 70 percent of all trading is done exclusively by computers, creating more opportunities for people who have those skills to meet the demand. And more colleges and universities are adding related programs, including MIT, the University of Chicago, and Cal Berkeley. We have additional in-depth coverage online, including a detailed history of high-frequency trading, profiles of the major players, and commentaries about the pros and cons of today's computer-driven market. Check out all the man versus machine content on cnbc.com you can find it right on the home page right now mark all right thank you very much scotty direct that